Hi guys, Tim here, and I'm actually uh, doing Not in the Terrier with you today. It's going to be the history of the tank, um, spe especially the First World War tanks, because there's not people don't really talk about the First World War that much, so I'll give them a little brief history of the tank. The tank was invented on invented in 1915, especially. September 15th, 1915, by the Foster Company, William um, Ashby Tritton, and his brother um, Foster. Um, and they invented the track, invented this armoured vehicle, which would break the stalemate of 1915, early 1915. They they produced the tank um, off the off the tracks off an old tractor in the day they made back in the nineteen back in like the nineteen hundred early nineteen very early nineteen hundreds and they wanted their tank to be destructive powerful reliable <laughs> which wasn't really so. In 1916, especially September 6th, uh, 16th, 1916, at Fleurs, Fleurs Quartier, wherever you say Fleurs, the tank came along. Now, the word tank actually, true, uh, the word officially tank comes from is when Bovington, um, the first ever um, tank um, base in a way, training tank corps set up they didn't want the russians to know because the russians wanted actually to know what this tank was so what happened was is these russians came along looked around nothing but we told them what it was and we say we were designing a new oil tanker so they so they thought of oh it's going to be called a tank Okay, it's a odd name. So yeah, Fleur's Quartier happened middle of the Somme, broke the stalemate of 1915. And what came along was the Mark I male tank right here. Two, sorry, two, 7.5 or 7.5 inch naval guns, right there. Um, max speed is one horsepower, 3.8 miles an hour, which is this slow that's how slow it is now this is of course an FX kit because I don't actually have a real tank but yeah they had tracks very similar to um, Ashby's design of their early tank 19 early tank 1900s and even even the even the, the wheels so they can actually get balance which as you see bobbles bobbles up and down isn't that reliable but yeah, <laughs> they fired um, well, 7.5 inch guns, 7.5 inch batteries as they're known. So yeah, these um, stormed Fleurs, especially at the at Fleurs village and um, no man's land. The Germans, when they saw this trundling towards them, they called it a monster. And it never had any had armour. The only the armor there was was on the sides, the sponsons, uh, the front, not much of the back, and but there's n literally th there's very thin armor on the top here. So there was one um, account of in this is 1918 by the way account in 1918 where Germans throwing grenades, shooting at everywhere at the tank and one British artillery shell because these are British hit the top of the tank demobilized it um, luckily for them there's a lot of known stories is when the bullet actually goes inside because it rattles about <laughs> rattles out inside they make a little hole of course a little hole so that was satisfying for the men because it was all because they actually get breathing space because what a tank is I will show a picture of it later oh now um, there's a picture of basically I'll show you now the tank is basically divided up in 
two parts, the engine, literally right in the middle, and the crew around it. There would be about, about roughly six, rather eight crew in here, two guns, two men to fire the guns, one to fire the machine gun, two to control it, and and two to actually start the engine, because it takes a long, long time to start the engine. So yeah, this... Mark 1 male tank. Um, 19... Um, about the Southern Flores Cortez, September 15th, 16th, 1916. This came along. And the reason why they produced the, the first ever tank before the Mark 1 was called the Little Willy. That's no joke, it actually is called the Little Willy. Known as, well known as the Little Willy, which I've seen. Is the first ever troop transport tank mobile in a way. So yeah, then when they produced that... In round about December time of 1916, um, they also came out the Mark I female, because the Mark I male has two 7.5 inch guns, 7.5 inch guns. These have twin both sides on the sponsons, thicker machine guns. There. Because they thought, why not a change? And these only move like that. Yeah. But same armor, same weak armor at the top, armor at sides, front, weak armor at the back, same wheels, same tracks, same speed, sorry, sp um, 3.8 miles an hour. So yeah, they, they didn't do much, because uh, they didn't do much that much at all, basically. <laughs> they, I can't hear, I have never heard any stories about these female tanks. Yeah. And there's a little story, true story, of course, um, where on April, this is a few more years, on April 24th, 9, uh, April 24th, 1918, there was two, sorry, two Mark I males versing a German A7V, well, later on in this video I'll talk about the A7V, not good, um, yeah, two British male tanks up against the German A7V. They trundled along. One fired at the A7V. One got demobilized by the A7V, conked out in the mud. The A7V shot um, got shot, fell over. The other A7V, sorry I didn't talk about that one, the other A7V walked, uh, not walked, um, trundled back slowly and then this trundle back slowly as well. So that was the first ever tank battle, tank v tank battle. And yeah, now in early 1917 they wanted to make a stronger tank in a way. So they came out with, of course, they had the Mark III, Mark they had the Mark IIs, and the slightly slightly later the Mark Threes, but they're they're hard to find, very hard to find. So then later on their most common tank, and it doesn't do this in real life, because it's just the gun broken. So yeah. So, sorry for that. So later on in early 19, late, sorry, late 1917, early 1918, they came out with the Mark IV. Now these still went the same speed, 3.8 miles an hour, and they actually had twin Lewis machine guns invented by the American Lewis. Um, and one at the front, still eight men, uh, still eight men inside, uh, but they actually had six pounder naval guns instead of the, the 7.5 naval guns, but yeah, still armour at the top, still slight, just a tad thicker armour this time at the top. Okay, sorry about that, I just, uh, camera just apparently cut out, weirdly. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, Mark IV tank, this was um, one of the tanks to actually win the whole of the Somme. The Somme was actually divided up into three sections, the over the top, 
the Mark 1, bring the Cellmate, then the Mark 4s at the end, clearing it up. So yeah, that that was the uh, tank in the First World War. Then I'm going to talk about, but in 1917, the first tank corps um, actually came up with their own catbird, and this is an original, and I can say an original tank corps catbird. It says you probably can't see it. Uh, it said tank corps tank in there. First ever tank corps catbird. Um, round about. October time of 1917, this is 1917 up to 1922, and this will be featured in all, in my cat badges review, yeah, and so yeah, this is actually a really nice piece, made of brass, always made of brass, cat badges are, most, yeah, always made of brass, basically anything they could find, brass it to death, <laughs> so yeah, it was actually George S. Patent, <laughs> Actually, it was actually, yeah, it was George S. Patton for the American Army who actually came up with the first tank corps, then the British came up with their own tank corps. Now the American tank corps cat badge is extremely, extremely rare, ultra rare, then, I don't know what, that's so rare. There was actually a German A7V one, but yeah, as I was saying. So yeah, this, an original one, British, this is British, so yeah, on to the A7V. The A7V tank was invented in, 19, in April 1918, because the Germans were um, running out of ideas at, by the end of the war. They've already had, they've already, you know, they've already had um, their masses of, uh, masses of offensive trying to push the British, Americans, Canadians, and French out but it never worked so what the Germans decided to do in April is make their own tank known as the box tank A7V yeah, or armoured assault vehicle as it's known in German and they only made 20 out of the whole of 1918 yeah, and it's very rare to find one nowadays, which, oh, which I haven't got. So yeah, just give you a rundown of it. September 15th, 1915, they came up with Little Willy. <laughs> Not there. Then, 9th, September 16th, 1916, Fleurs, or Fleurs Mark 1 male tank. December 1916, British female tank, both Mark 1s, then 19, later 1917, early 1918, um, Mark 4 tank, slightly better, but then 1917 to 1922, the tank or cat badge. Um, see, as I say, the tank or cat badge will be in my, my uh, cat badge collection I'll do the review of, and yeah, that has been the brief history of actually, I'll just say so as I was saying tank tanks um, invented by um, British very very famous British company Exe just disappeared off the shelf now um, yeah, disappeared off the shelf Robert Ashby um, written so yeah that was the history of the World War One tanks, such from the Little Willy all the way up to the Mark IV, and bye.